Hi friends, so in the last video I showed you how you can create sticker sheets, um, sticker sheets that look like this one here, which are more on the decorative side and also smaller in size as well. However, in this video we'll be looking at Happy Planner stickers, or to be exact, stickers that are 1.5 inches wide, which can be used in Erin Condren or Happy Planners. So if you're not familiar, let me show you a photo. This one's a happy planner and usually all columns in a happy planner are 1.5 inches wide. And the same goes for Erin Condren. So many sticker sellers usually like to create stickers that are 1.5 inches wide so they can be used to decorate planner spreads. And I will show you in this tutorial how you can create something similar that looks like this one here. And one thing to mention is that these sticker sheets are in US letter size. So when you now go to Planify Pro and you open up a new planner, what you can do is you can apply a pre-made sticker template. So if you go to layout, you will see a submenu called sticker. And when you click on it, you will find different kinds of sticker layouts. So up here we have two different kinds. And this one here on the left looks pretty similar to what I've showed you here. And there also is a second one, which is this one on the right side. So let me quickly apply it so you can see it. By clicking on it, it will automatically size you the template to a US letter size and will also apply you this template into the, into the planner. So like you see here, now you see up here, it's automatically the US letter size and the template has been applied. So this is how sticker sheet one looks like. Next to it, I can show you how sticker sheet two looks like. So it's similar. However, there are smaller windows down here below where you can, for example, create date stickers. Um, let me see if I can find an example. So where you can create, for example, label stickers. So these kinds of stickers you can, for example, create here, down here below. And you can create many different kinds of stickers. For example, you can insert the widgets into the fields. So you can, for example, create a meal plan sticker. By clicking on horizontal box, it will apply you this kind of sticker where you can further customize it and, for example, remove the example box. And then you can maybe also remove the snacks box. And now you have a sticker for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And this exact sticker is 1.5 inches wide and it is around two inches long. And then in the next one, you can also create, um, for example, a sticker, which is a note sticker that looks like this. So you can, for example, remove the header or you can type in a new header or you can completely remove the header by clicking on remove header here. So this would be, for example, a note sticker or there also is a lined note sticker you can experiment with. Or you can, for example, also add a dated sticker or a calendar. So if you click on calendar, you can, for example, create a sticker sheet with all months of the year 2022. So up here you can select a new month, for example, July, maybe reduce the amount of rows. Then you can also center the numbers like this. And there you go. Now I show you another example. You can also create weekly stickers. Um, for example, something that looks like this. And now let's remove the sections and add seven rows. So this, for example, could be a sticker for the whole week. So you can actually type in here M for Monday, then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And this sticker, for example, can be used as a meal planner, um, as an appointment tracker, or anything else. And by the way, to change the fonts, go to text and then you will have to adjust the H2 font. 
and the H3 font because everything that is written within the lines is the H3 font like this. By the way, you can also center the labels, um, make them all centered like this. And this is how it will look like. So this might be, this might look cleaner and nicer. Next, there also is the to-do list widget. So if you go to to-do, there is a to-do list. So you can also create a sticker, which is a to-do list. And um, you can also remove completely the header or you can leave the header blank like this so um, you can write in your own header once the sticker is printed and cut out or you can also type in tasks like this and give it a name reduce the rows maybe also change the icon to something else like this and then besides the to-do list there also is there also is a time schedule you can use. So maybe you could create a sticker um, where someone can track the time that maybe goes from 8 to 4 p.m. like this. And then you can also um, change the styling and then maybe reduce the increments, set it to the left side and also remove the sticker side like this. You might want to set a different schedule since uh, four is cut off because there isn't enough space for so many lines. So maybe from nine to four is better like this. And you can also increase the increments like this or you can also insert your own images so if you go to images you'll have the option to insert your personal image so click on personal image and next scroll all the way down and when you click on browse it will pull you up your um, folder on your device and then from your device you can import your personal photos or images and they will show up down here below. So you see, I already have a bunch of photos and then you can simply click on one and it will insert you the image into the field. You can also further adjust um, the size of the image. So you can scale up the zoom like this, or you can also align it more to the horizontal or to the vertical side like this. So this is how you can create stickers with your own personal images in it. So for example, if you've purchased a graphic bundle where you have um, designs like these ones here, you can also import these into Planify Pro and add them into the widget like I just did here. And then next, what you can do as well is you can also go to stickers and then you can insert any kind of sticker. So let me show you, for example, if you like more goth designs, you can open this collection and then you can insert any kind of stickers into the field and they will be exactly 1.5 inches wide, which means they will perfectly fit into a happy planner or a condren column. Now, one thing to mention is that whenever you insert an image like this, you might want to add a line around the image so you know where or how to cut out the sticker so they are exactly 1.5 inches wide. So what you can do is click on it and then in the settings you can scroll all the way down and there is a menu to wrap the widget. And when you click on wrap the widget, it would draw you a line around um, the widget so you know where to cut it out. And you can also apply this wrap around the other widgets. So for example, if you create a sticker 
that which is a calendar like this one here that has no border around it and you want the customers or you yourself to be able to perfectly cut out or know where to cut out the stickers what you can do is click on it again go to wrap and then click on wrap this widget so this wrapping just helps as a guideline so you know or the customer knows where to cut out the stickers then next, one tip, in the sticker collection, we also have um, a collection called stickers. So you can search for sticker and you see there is a collection called sticker. So for example, these kinds of stickers can be inserted as well. Now they might not be exactly 1.5 inches wide. However, you can be sure that they will fit into the columns of a happy planner or a ring conjuring planner. So you can also use some of those in here. And what you can do as well is once you've applied them, you can go to the settings and scroll down to artwork color. And here you can also further change up the colors of the stickers. So if you make a purple themed sticker sheet, you can also copy the purple color with the eyedropper and then create a purple themed sticker sheet like this. So this is something else you can do. And then lastly, what I also wanted to show you is that besides the widgets, you can also go to styling and then choose a new and different style. So you can also play around with the styling but uh, the general stylings I recommend you to use are the original styles, maybe the jovial style or also the modern style. Those work as well. Simple should work too. And by the way, this is not sticker related, but if you see double lines down here below, you can actually remove them by selecting the widgets and then in the settings, removing the last line like this. So this will remove the last line in the widget. Besides the styling, you can also change the colors. So if you go to color, you can change the color of all widgets, or you can also just change the colors of individual widgets by clicking on it. And then under color here, usually it's the outline color, which will change the color of the entire widget. There you can select a new custom color without changing the rest. And then besides the colors and styling, you can also change the text or the fonts. So under text, you will have to adjust the H2 and H3 font. And then I also wanted to quickly show you how we can create um, labeled stickers. Um, for example, like you see here. So for example, you want to create a labeled sticker which says goals. What you can do is on this sticker sheet, for example, you can click on it and then go to horizontal box. Then in the settings, scroll down and remove all boxes until you're left with one box only. And then next you want to remove the header and you also want to change the styling of the sticker because currently it is set to the simple style but you will need to use the classic style um, for this specific widget so go to minimal and then have to selected widget selected so you just change the styling of one individual widget and then click on classic so this will apply the classic styling into this widget, which will make uh, this specific widget appear like you see now. Then open the text menu by clicking on the widget and you can type in, for example, goal. You can align it into the middle like this. And then you can also make the font a tiny bit bigger like this. Another way to create label stickers is by just clicking on the widget and then um, applying the same horizontal boxes, reducing it to just one box, remove the label, also change the styling of this widget to the classic style 
and then you can also go to stickers and then go to widget and then you can insert a custom label which will appear up here so drag it down you can drag it to be on top of the sticker of this label and then change the name to maybe for example meal and by clicking on AA you will be able to select a new font and then here you can select the same font again reduce it maybe remove the boldness of the font and there we go so this one so this would be another way on how you can create labeled stickers then besides this what you can do as well is you can also decorate it on top of the widgets so by having sticker layer selected you can go to stickers and you can for example go back to the pastel goth collection and then you can maybe add a few stickers on top and then decorate your sticker widgets like this so this is something else you can do so it would look something like this or you can use any other sticker collection so we have a bunch of sticker collections you can also use the black and white florals and create more classic stickers that look like this and there you go and then once you've completed your sticker sheet you can go to export and then it doesn't matter which menu you have selected click on us letter size and then you can also click on do not rearrange like this and then batch generate the pdf and it will create you the sticker sheet and then important is that you print out the sticker sheet at 100 percent scale so it can maintain the correct sizes of the stickers so they all will be 1.5 inches wide once printed out and then click to download the pdf file and here you go so now it exported um, both sticker sheets left and right and if you see any blank pages that are appended below uh, just manually remove them from the PDF file by clicking delete so you should be able to manually remove them by deleting them in the PDF um, right now this still is an issue we still need to fix but until we fix the issue about the blank pages appending in the PDF just manually delete them for now now one thing I would like to mention is that um, I previously already created a few sticker sheets for you so if you go to the explore page and you type in stickers you should see a few sticker sheets show up so for example these here are decorative sticker sheets which you can use commercially as is and then there also are a few other sticker sheets which are um, 1.5 inches wide for example this one right here or this one right here or there also is this sticker sheet which is 1.5 inches wide and you can also use them all commercial or just check them out and see how I did it here maybe create a different variation of this one by changing the colors or adding your own touches to them so this is something you can check out as well so this is how to create stickers which are 1.5 inches wide if you have any questions, feel free to always message me on Instagram or Facebook and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye!